Kristen Blatt, OAPN's Executive Director here. In today's short video, we are going to go over how to log into your member profile, how to make a few updates, and how to use your member directory. So first and foremost, you'll want to go to oapn.org, and you'll see a couple different ways to log in. First is up here at the member login, and again at the bottom of our page in the footer here, you can log in. So you're going to click login, and if you haven't already gone through the process of resetting your password, you can do that here. On this page, what you'll do is just click reset password, and your username is going to be the email that you use to receive your OAPN newsletters. So we're going to go into a profile that's already been completed, and we're going to use an OAPN artist called Russian Duo. So when you log in from that screen, you will be directed to our member home, which is a quick link button that you will find here once you're logged in. So you always see your name tag to make sure that, that you are in the correct profile. And the most important buttons are my profile and member directory. As events are loaded, uh, you will see that in the event calendar here. So first step is completing your profile. So we're gonna click on my profile and you will have the option to upload your profile photo. What you do is you'll go over my profile, change profile picture, and here's where you'll upload that photo. And just note, uh, sometimes photos with very high resolutions uh, are a little bit harder to upload. Click on your photo, which will be a, an empty icon right there. Uh, follow follow these instructions um, and if you are not finding the crop or save button at the end it means your image is too large so that's that's how you change your profile photo we're going to go back to my profile by clicking the my profile button and here is where you're going to start editing and updating your personal information so your home screen will show you everything that you have filled out now, if you haven't filled out any of this, the only information that you're going to see is the auto-filled info up here. So everything that you're viewing in your profile is what you can see, and it doesn't always mean it's what everybody else can see. There's some things that are hidden, like your member number um, and your expiration date from other members. So here's where you're going to want to fill in your full name, contact name, organization name, organization name, will be the name that shows up here. Your email, phone number, your artist fee. Now this is the only option that is not viewable to other artists when you're in the member directory. Now if you're a presenter or an agency or a service organization, you can view the artist fee. So I deselected what they chose just uh, for their own privacy but you want to make sure you select one of those fee ranges so that other presenters uh, know, know where you are when they're looking to book. Art of genres, you'll go through here. You have uh, many options, and if we are missing the option that you feel you fall into, please email us at info at oapn.org. So on a Mac, you will just simply use the command key to you know, hold that down to select multiple, and if you're on a PC, it's the control. Artist here, this group is actually in-state and self-managed, so we're going to click that. You can copy and paste your bio in here, and then your booking contact, email, phone, which because she's the main contact and her information is already above, you don't need to continue to fill that out. And then you're going to copy and paste your links in here, your Facebook, website, YouTube, and this uh, will we'll fix for Terrier let her know to paste a link to a YouTube video. And that's the video that everybody will be able to see. So we're going to save that since we made an update. And then you should be able to find all of that information here. It's pretty self-explanatory once you're in. Uh, because this is a, a brand new system for us, if you feel that uh, there's a question that needs to be asked that is not, please send me an email at info at oapn.org. All right, so we're going to go back to member home so that we can explore the member directory. So once here, we're gonna click on member directory and here's where you're gonna see all of our OAPN members. 
um, you have options before you search all though. So say you're looking for something specific, you're looking for an agency that books uh, your style of music or an agency that is in state or out of state, because uh, maybe as an artist you're looking to connect with an agency. Maybe you're looking to connect with other artists. Uh, oh, you're an artist looking to perform and you need to perform at a venue that books these genres. You're gonna wanna select as many as, uh, as you fall into. You can select by venue specs and you can select by concert formats. And of course, the more feedback we get, the more robust each of these categories will be. But let's just say you wanna search and see all members. You're just gonna leave that entire option, uh, all those options empty and click search. So here is where you'll find the artist profiles and you're gonna see, not sorry, the artist, the member profiles. You'll see name, photo, member type. So we have artists, we have service organizations, we have presenters, which is the uh, venue bookers. Yeah. And uh, you can just go through. So you'll see this looking more completed once artists and uh, members go in and complete their profile, but we'll take a look to see, uh, to learn more about Sarah at the Avalon Theater. So you click on her profile and here is where you will find her information. So now this is you viewing somebody else's profile. So you'll see it's a little bit different. You'll, you'll, uh, you'll not be able, you won't be able to see a lot of the information you saw in your own profile. We have her organization, her name, the email. If you're looking to book with her, you want to call. Here are the concert formats that uh, the Avalon Theater hosts. And these are the months that you want to contact this venue to perform during their next season. Now their next season could be next year or the year after. Of course, make sure we note that everything is a little different uh, due to COVID. So you have your Facebook links, how many stages, where to find them on Instagram, Sarah's contact title, the genres that they book and the venue specs and their website. You can go back to your search results and you can start going through everybody's profile. Now say you want to have a more descriptive search and go back to the member directory and let's say we want to search for all other in-state agents so there we go we're just going to click that and we're going to scroll to the bottom and press search and once these folks start updating their profiles you'll see their organization logo and their name and then you can start clicking on them and again once more people fill things out you'll see more pages of these so that's it for today's video uh, i hope that you'll take a few minutes this weekend to go in update your profile and uh, and we'll connect sometime next week thank you so much for taking the time to watch today i'm jessica with oapn